man on Main Street who did not disappoint in his maiden credit policy. RBI Governor Urjit Patel slashed the repo rate by 0.25%. The rate at which banks borrow from the RBI now stands at 6.25%, the lowest in six years. The hope now is that uh, banks who can access cheaper money should make home loans cheaper for you and me. However, that has not been the case as the RBI governor himself observed that uh, transmission when it comes to bank borrowing lending has indeed been lesser. Listen in. Uh, I agree that, uh, uh, that the transmission to bank lending uh, and to bank borrowers has been less than any one of us would have liked to. Uh, and we are hoping uh, that uh, over the next quarter or two, also keeping in mind that the government has now also reduced the small savings rate. So the government's intention to bring, bring that to the uh, more market related is also been now uh, amplified. Uh, that, that the MCLR calculation itself will now throw up uh, more transmission. RBI's brand new governor, Urjit Patel, there talking about uh, transmission levels in the Indian banking system not up to the mark. Uh, in fact, uh, as part of the policy decision today, uh, Urjit Patel uh, did mention his concerns uh, over the lack of uh, transmission. And uh, even as he cut uh, the repo rate uh, by 0.25%, keep in mind, this is Urjit Patel's first policy as the RBI governor. And it has been a breakaway from tradition in many ways. One... The policy was not presented at 11 in the morning at, uh, as usually it is done. It was presented uh, in the afternoon. And uh, also, more importantly, there was the Monetary Policy Committee or the MPC, which uh, jointly together with RBI uh, uh, came up uh, with the policy. Uh, so it's been a big breakaway from tradition and a big debut as far as Ujit Patel is concerned. And we do have uh, Geetambar Anand of Kredai joining us live on the phone line to give us perspective as far as the, this credit policy is concerned. Mr. Anand, thank you so much for taking time out to be this here in the news on Magic Bricks. Now, 25 basis point rate cut from Urjit Patel and the Monetary Policy Committee. Do you think it's good enough to prop up real estate in the country? See, the thing is, uh, first and foremost, I think we must congratulate the new governor for, uh, you know, taking this step because it was desperately needed. But uh, the deeper uh, issue is that this rate cut, you know, it's been 175 basis points till now since uh, Governor Rajan started the rate cut. But this hasn't been passed on to our consumers. So, I mean, till such a time that the RBI and the government doesn't push banks to pass on this rate cut in its entirety to our home loan customers, there is no way that uh, they can avail this beautiful opportunity of buying ready-to-move in apartments across the country at great prices. So, you know, we are very, very concerned at Kadai whether this rate cut will be passed on its, in its entirety to customers. We are looking at sub-9%. We are looking at an 8.5% home loan rate. That is something which is required. I mean, whether we need to prop up the market or not, whether a home loan rate cut is a secondary issue. But we must not uh, let this opportunity go for our customers, wherein such a huge offer is uh, there for them at great prices. And there's this huge, you know, this expensive home loan that they're looking at. This is not right. This has to change. And some or the other, some push has to come. Some nudge has to come either from the RBI or from the government to banks to pass on this state cut to our consumers. Um. That is a fair point you're making there, Mr. Geeta Maran, when it comes to transmission. That is the same point that Urjit Patel also made as part of the post-credit uh, uh, policy review media address. In fact, he went on to say that, uh, you know, hopefully it's passed on over the next six months. He expects the rates to go down. Uh, but uh, the, my question to you, Mr. Gitam Anand, is that, you know, do you see all this you know, rate cutting, you know, the fight between growth and inflation being won in favor of growth, uh, you know, boosting the buyer's confidence and bringing them back to the market? There, of course, there has been a boost in confidence, uh, you know, with the good monsoon. We know that uh, our uh, uh, inflation is going to be very low. Our food inflation is going to be low. But like I said before, you know, even for white good buyers, consumers, for automobile consumers, this rate cut should translate into uh, an effective rate cut for them when they uh, take a loan to buy that car or that house or that television or that fridge. Now, till this doesn't happen... They will not come out into the market to buy. Now, this is a great time for them to shop. 
So with this rate cut being announced today, I am, you know, if the banks aggressively pass on this cut to our uh, end users, you will see, definitely see a lot of activity in uh, the real estate space. Buying will suddenly start because, like I said, there's a huge offer for them to go for ready-to-move in homes at great prices. So this has to be passed on to the end user. Now, if this happens, then naturally it will spur manufacturing because the real estate industry, you know, actually buys goods from more than 350 manufacturing uh, varied industries. So this will spur manufacturing, it will spur GDP, it will spur employment. But, you know, bottom line is still now we haven't seen an effective rate cut being passed on to the home loan uh, user. All right, uh, Mr. Kitamar, I'm busy holding the phone line because we also have Mr. Niranjan Hiranandani joining us on the phone line right here on the news on Magic Krishna. Mr. Hiranandani, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us on this big RBI policy review day. 0.25% rate cut with concerns persisting on the transmission of RBI's rate cut by banks. Your take on today's policy review, the debut policy from Murjit Patel. I think it's a wonderful direction to which he has taken in spite of the fact that uh, the international markets are still in doldrums. There is a Pakistan issue which is on the borders. We have uh, the election in America going to be, you know, a question mark as to the interest rates of the federal side. But I think he has looked at both the issues very carefully, which is the rain, good monsoon which has taken place, and also the fact that the overall uh, uh, inflation is put into control. I think he has set a direction in which he wants interest rates to go, and uh, I think he's taken a bold decision. However, uh, one major thing change has taken place. For the first time, you have a committee of six people who are advising him on what he should do in the policy, and entire number of six people have made a recommendation of a rate cut. So I think in both ways, six people have directed that this should be a rate cut. Second, I think the governor has sent a direction. I couldn't have expected more from him on the first uh, round of work, looking at the environment which is happening today. All right, uh, Mr. Hiranandani, uh, I'm going to have to uh, ask you to, uh, you know, put this policy into perspective for us. You know, inflation is being seen at 5.3%. Uh, you know, that those concerns persist, uh, especially with the 7th uh, Pay Commission as well. Uh, in that light, uh, would you say that this was a, an appropriate time for a rate cut? And more importantly, do you expect more rate cuts going forward? I think if the international markets behave uh, in terms of investments coming into India and the rest of the world, uh, which means also about how the American election is going to take place. That's a big question mark, I think, throughout the world as to how America is going to behave post-election. Uh, that's one important factor to be done. But the second more important factor, according to me, though I don't see that being mentioned too much around, is also what is going to happen with Pakistan. Pakistan uh, uh, is a country where the question mark in the next few weeks is going to be extremely important are we ultimately going to have some sort of a limited war in order to settle the issues on the border? I think that's going to be a major concern immediately in the short run. I think looking into all these factors, his 25%, uh, 25 basis points rate cut is a very measured step in the direction in which he wants to do. So, of course, if things go right, I, I assure you that there will be rate cuts. I think he's a growth kind of uh, uh, governor that we have. And uh, I'm 100% sure other things being equal in the economy and the environment, you will see heavier rate cuts in the future than you have seen in the past. One last question quickly, Mr. Nandani, before we let go of you. Do you think uh, this will boost the confidence of investors and buyers out there and bring them back to the market? I think there are twofold issues. Number one is that the way the economy is going, uh, the kind of investment which is happening in the infrastructure sector, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. In the Mumbai sector, for instance, we are looking at a cross harbor bridge. We are looking at the metros, three metros to take place. We are talking about a coastal road. We are talking about Navi Mumbai Airport. Uh, again, Mr. Gadkari is talking about the national highways and roads. This kind of infrastructure project uh, drive, we are seeing for the first time, at least in the western Mumbai region, and also across the country, if this is going to take place, you're going to see a GDP growth, which my guesstimate would be closer to 9% rather than the 7% that we are looking at. This is all going to drive the economy to a bigger state.
And another point which I'd like to make is that the commercial demand, I already am seeing an increase in commercial uh, demand, at least in the Western region and including my company. So I do see a positive element happening in the economy, irrespective of what the rate cut is. All right, uh, Mr. Nirandan Hiranandani of the Hiranandani Group and Mr. Gitam Baranan, thank you both of you gentlemen for taking time out to be with us here on the news and Magic Breaks now to understand the big RBI credit policy review. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Breaks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Breaks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.